uh, group of anti-corruption civil society organization. Now, as all the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, the FCC, to respect the integrity of the courts while combating corruption. In a press conference in Lagos, the activists uh, criticized the recent confrontation between the FCC and former Governor Yahya Bello, deeming it unnecessary and regrettable. The CSOs and human rights advocates cautioned the FCC and other anti craft agencies against violating the rights of corruption suspects, emphasizing the importance of upholding the law while enforcing it. Led by uh, Deba Denira, the executive chairman of the Center for Anti Corruption and Open Leadership, uh, Kaxo has expressed their dissatisfaction with the demands and also advised the Commission to carry out its operation within the boundaries of the law without uh, succumbing to uh, political pressures. We do not consider Yaya Belu or the former governor Yaya Belu a saint. Never. We don't. But even the devil deserves his rights under the law. Cost documents at our disposal show that the former governor, former governor had obtained a high court restraining order on the EFCC not to arrest or prosecute him pending the, determin the determination of a case of enforcement of his fundamental human rights. Please note that. Pending the case of the enforcement of his fundamental human rights, which the Commission has rightfully appealed with the intention of vacating. That these agencies obey lawful court orders, not only for the benefit of the activities of these agencies, but for the benefit of the larger society. Today, a lot of corruption suspects are working free in our society because the EFCC have you know, gone through every opportunity available to have been explored within the judicial system to get them convicted. Today, a lot of suspects, a lot of people who we know have looted public funds in this country are working free because of the overzealousness of some agencies of government, particularly anti-corruption agencies, in dealing with this matter. We are prevailing on the current leadership of the EFCC, just like he said, that we have trust in to follow the route of law and order. Now, we are being gasoked from the Center Against Injustice and Domestic Violence emphasized that uh, civil societies in Nigeria will strongly oppose any use of the military to apprehend an individual without being accused of treason. In this situation, we are either the enforcer of the law or the one suspected to have violated the laws, the law acts contrary to the law. It is recipe for anarchy, which does not augur well for the collective interest of the society. Laws cannot be allowed to be broken without institutional intervention of state via enforcement. Ditto, laws cannot be enforced lawlessly. When laws are enforced lawlessly, oftentimes the corporate becomes the victim and the law becomes the loser. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.